Welcome to Travels with the Russells. We invite you to join us on our adventures as we explore different countries, their cultures, sites, and significant historic and religious monuments. We invite you to please like and subscribe to our channel, Travels with the Russells. Well, good morning. And uh, here we are in Havana, in Cuba, and we're outside the train station. So if you watch my vlog from a few days ago, you'll see that I said I didn't know if they had trains in uh, Cuba. Well, they certainly do. So uh, here we are at the train station in Havana. If you'd like to join us today, you'll be welcome. We're going to have a wander up to the old artisan market. So uh, we'll see you when we get up there. So, Julie there, sent this old uh, steam train. And we're going in the uh, market, the entrance is here, Artisan Market. It is Saturday, so I am hoping that there is something open. Well, this will be the world's shortest uh, market video. Oh yeah, there's a few things open. Let's have a look around. Hello. Oh, go upstairs first night. artisan market so uh, So, uh, artworks by local artists. Good morning. Some uh, modern arts and more traditional arts, and a lot of people with cigars. Hola! <laughs> a lot of people with cigars in the mouths. <laughs> Rather a striking image there. It would appear that a lot of the stalls are closed, but all the artwork areas are open. Very characterful. Love his flat nose. Striking paintings of cigars. Michael Jackson. More kind of cartoonistic. They're very proud of their old cars. Again, the mask wearing is uh, compulsory inside. More people smoking cigars. <laughs>
Seems a uh, man's not a man unless he's got a cigar stuffed in his face. <laughs> There are just uh, thousands, hundreds of works of art up here from the local artists. All on canvas, so you can uh, buy them, have them rolled up, put into tubes. Take them away with you. Back to whichever country you come from. Very bright. saying hello they don't really seem to bother you up here unlike some of the other shops which they're quite pushy taxi drivers especially and tall touts well I can say there is a lot Gonna bore you too much, but if you can see down there, there are just rows upon rows upon rows of the uh, artistic works. So we'll go downstairs and have a look around the. Uh... Yeah, so if we uh, head downstairs in a moment, see the different variety of artistic styles on hand here. Very uh, Aboriginal, <laughs> some of it. But if you're looking for an original piece of art, we've certainly got a huge selection here in Havana. So I would highly recommend coming and having a look if you're ever fortunate enough to visit this country, which is lovely. So we'll proceed downstairs and have a look down at the market downstairs, see what that has to offer. So, now in the downstairs section, the artisan market, lots of little stalls selling all sorts of crafted goods. Humidor seems to be a big seller in, uh, in Cuba. Good morning. No, thank you. They always, <laughs> first thing you notice is they always try to sell you cigars and the second thing you notice is if you don't smoke or you don't know anybody who smokes or certainly I don't know anybody who smokes or smokes cigars they're shocked <laughs> No thank you Hello So the local uh, market place. What fit me anyway? Some uh, quite pushy. Hola.
Hola. Quite a lot closed, but a lot open as well, so. No. I guess after the lack of tourists, the uh, a little after the lack of tourists due to the COVID pandemic, a lot of these shops will have closed, not survived. But saying that, it's actually quite a busy little place, selling all sorts of goods. So kind of at the back of the market here, it uh, docks straight out onto the harbour area. The old train tracks, so goods and storage. Yeah, a bit of an ice off some of it. Lady's going up there, but hope she can swim. Hey, hey, so it, it wouldn't be uh, too bad if you felt you could look at anything, touch or some folks that they jump on you as soon as you saw the slightest bit of interest. It's a bit like uh, it's a bit like Egypt. <laughs> of course, they're desperate to sell their their goods. Can't blame them for that. Can't blame anybody to try to make a living. Unfortunately. I don't really want a picture of an old lady with a cigar in her mouth. I don't want a set of bongos. <laughs> I, uh, and effectively mostly all uh, tourist, uh, touristy stuff. I would imagine on an evening a few more of these shops do open. I mean, there's still plenty of them. And if you needed a, a hat or a t-shirt or a wooden bird, Thank you. Awesome. Uh, Good morning. Or a badly made shirt. I'm sure this is the place to come. Well, I really don't think there's very much else to see. One stall is pretty much like another. Looks like somebody's opening an artisan ice cream parlour. But uh, all very similar. So, we'll wake up, work our way out of here. We'll kind of wind up. So, that was the Artisan Market, and set this mask off. That was the Artisan Market in uh, Havana. As you can see, it's quite a pollution problem here in the harbour. There were people, or council workers, clearing out the harbour, but uh, 
like it's an endless task. Anyway, the old artisan market, Havana, in Cuba. This will be our last vlog from here, so if you've joined us, thank you very much. From me and Julie. Me, Nigel. Me, Julie. We'll say ta-ra. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.